Hi, I'm John, and this is Up For Excel. Now we can change the style, color, layout, etc. of these charts quite simply. We have a predefined selection list here, for example, which we can just have a look and see what it might look like. Um, scan through them. This is sometimes a quick way of getting a chart that could look good. Uh, you know, there's some pretty radical looking uh, things on here. And that one's potentially okay, but I'm going to leave it as we have it at the moment, but you can see what those would look like. You can also change the color scheme by dropping down on the change colors. And you can see straight away that we can pick some standard sort of color schemes here. Um, various different ones. Um, you've got quite a lot to choose from here. Uh, do you know what, I actually prefer the one I've got. <laughs> I'll stick that. And then we also have this quick layouts. Now these basically move things around within, uh, and you might find that this is a quick way of producing something you like the look of. Um, you can see the various different things. This is just, a, it might be a shortcut, might be worth looking at some of these and saying, yeah, actually I quite like that one, we'll stick with that. Once you've got something that you like the look of, you can save it as a template. So I've, um, you do that, you can select the chart and you can right click on it and save as a template. And I'm gonna overwrite one of my earlier ones. I'm gonna call this chart two and save that. Do I want to replace it? Yes, I do. Okay, so I now have this as a template, but how do I apply it? Right, so I've got some new data come in now. Um, maybe a different business or something. So more sales and profit numbers. And again, I'm gonna highlight those. Uh, I'm gonna push Alt F1 to get a quick chart up, which I'm just gonna move over there and make a bit larger. And then how do I get this now looking similar to how I did the previous chart? So I'm gonna select chart type, and this time you'll see that we go to templates. And chart two is the template that I wanted, and you simply just click OK. Uh, and there you go. Now, for some strange reason, um, you still need to type in the titles, but you can give this any title you want, give the axis a title, but predominantly it's looking good from the word go. Now, um, I did a, a previous chart as well, so on a template, so I could just show you another one. So. This time, a full screen template. And here we go, there's chart type one. Here's another potential template. So instant sort of charts looking exactly how you want. If you've got several, if you've got reports that you produce every week or every um, month, but you're given different data, then this is an excellent way of producing that incredibly quickly indeed. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit subscribe for plenty more tips and tricks on Upper Excel. I'll see you soon.